kids, and welcome back to another week of Church Online. We miss you guys so much, but isn't it cool that you've been able to go to church in your PJs? I know you're probably super comfortable on the couch, but I need you to stand up real quick. Come on, get up. Your blanket will still be there in a minute. This month, we're learning that God loves me. So here's what we're going to do. Make sure you have plenty of space around you, because on the count of three, we're going to say, God loves me while we spin around as fast as we can. Okay? Are you ready? One, two, three. God loves me. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Today in our story, we're going to be learning that God loves you and he has a plan for you. Next, let's watch the Olive video to learn some more. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Awesome. Let's go. One more lemon squeeze should do it. Oh, hey friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Poppy, and I'm making something super yummy today. Can you guess what I'm making? That's right, lemonade. I'm helping my clubhouse friends with the lemonade stand. And what do we need for a lemonade stand? Well, the world's best lemonade, of course. My Aunt Ming sent me her best plan to follow. It's her world famous lemonade recipe. I've already squeezed some lemons. 
so sour. And add the secret ingredient, maple syrup. Mmm, so sweet. And now all we have to do is add one more lemon and some water. Can you help me? Great, let's do it. Let's squeeze this lemon to the pitcher. Stir three times. One, two, three. And now we have to add four cups of water. Can you help me? Great. One, two, three, and four. Great job, everyone. Aunt Ming will be so proud. Now all we have to do is stir it and we'll be all set. I can't wait to try the lemonade. Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Hoo, hoo. Making some lemonade, are you? Hey, Ollie. I sure am. I made my Aunt Ming's best lemonade recipe. I followed her plan and I'm doing everything it says. That's a great plan. It's true. I know about an extra special plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. There we go. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Just going over the blueprint plan for my latest project. Can you guess what I'm going to build? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> it's a skateboard ramp. My neighbor asked me to build one for his son. But before I build anything, I always make a plan like this one, so I'll know what to build step by step. Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with a queen named Esther. Now, a queen needs a castle, right? So, hold on one second. There we go. Esther loved God. She knew that God loved her and had a plan for her. Now, this is Haman. He worked for the king, but he did not love God. In fact, he had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family. One day, Haman told the king that the king should get rid of a whole group of people, God's people. When Esther heard this, she was so upset. The king didn't know, but the people Haman wanted to get rid of were her friends and family. They loved God just like she did. Oh no, that's so sad. Show me your sad face. Well, what should she do? Esther was scared that if she went to the king, he might get mad at her. But then, her cousin Mordecai came to tell her something. He reminded her that God loved her and had a plan for her. She could trust God. God loves you, Esther, Mordecai said. You're special. You were made for this. So Esther trusted God's plan. She went to the king and asked him to save her friends and family. And guess what? The king said, yes! Hooray! <laughs> Way to go, Esther! God had a plan for Esther, and God has a plan for you too, because God loves you. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. 
God had a plan for Esther, and He has a plan for you. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! What a great story. God has a plan for us, just like He had a plan for Esther. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. It's always good to have a plan, and God's plan is the best plan. I'll see you next time. Bye. Isn't it amazing how much God loves you and that he has a plan for us? Let's go over our memory verse. You're going to repeat after me, okay? I'll go first, you go second. Nothing at all can separate us from God's love. Romans 8:39. Now what I need you to do is share anything that you've learned today with your family or whoever you're watching this with. And before you go, if you haven't already, we want to give you the opportunity to invite Jesus into your life. It's the best decision that you could ever make. In a few moments, we're going to have a prayer pop up on the screen that you can pray with your family. And if you decide today to invite Jesus into your heart, make sure that you tell your parents. I've had so much fun learning with you today. And if you haven't already, make sure you give your mom a hug today. Love y'all. See you next week. down